What's up guys so in today's topic we are gonna learn how to use SQL map to attack databases so what I gonna do now I gonna use SQL map actually I have installed SQL map on my Ubuntu system and if you are on Windows then it's easily available for Windows as well or if you are a web penetration tester then I believe that you are using Kali Linux now let's get back to our main topic how to use SQL map for attacking a particular website so I have just searched this website and you know what to do SQL injection in any website first you have to check whether this website or other website is vulnerable or not so what I'm gonna do here I am gonna use just simple step to check whether this website is vulnerable or not so what I gonna do here I gonna use just single quotes if I hit enter and I get any sort of SQL MySQL error then we can easily say that this website is vulnerable to SQL injection attacks I gonna use this you can use any number just you just need to check after id equal to you have to use any number whatever you want to use according to website database record so on one you get all this thing on five you get all this records so on five they don't have any record so what i do here i use 139 and it shows data here as well so what I do here I just wanna copy it and I gonna use it in my terminal so I have already used this uh, in my SQL map so I again show you how to use it SQL map so you can see here I'm using SQL map then minus u and the uh, URL of website if you want to use one instead of 139 you can use here that as well so this time i'm using one and i hit enter now so you can say you can so you can see here it has started using its payload against this url this would take some time so just wait for a while until it gets completed So guys you can see here we got six databases and now let's check uh, what number of tables these databases contain. So I am gonna just check on this database and to check a number of tables inside this database. To do that what we gonna do now I gonna use minus D and the name of table. and then tables again hit enter so what this command would do this command would look for tables inside this database so when you get all the databases just check one by one to get all the information stored in these databases so yeah this takes little bit time but if you do it thoroughly then you will get a lot of uh, information stored inside these databases so just wait and let's see what we get now you can see here after running this command we got three tables inside this database and now let's check what data we have inside visits table so to get information from visits table what i gonna do i gonna use different command wait a second minus t and name of table so you can see here i am using minus d for database and the name of the database then minus t for table and the name of table inside the database this database and then i write dump record of this widgets table hit enter
so you can see here now it doesn't have any entry but if you check one by one inside this table in any table you can get entries so this is the way to do SQL injection